Hello, I'm Lauren Markham. Thanks for joining us. Well, if there was ever a week to remind us of the relationship between the Giants and the Riverina, it was last weekend when the Giants reserves were in action at Robertson Oval on Saturday and then on Sunday, Colin Gully's Matt Kennedy kicked three goals in his AFL debut, including two in a couple of minutes that put them on top against Essendon. I reckon our two studio guests, Tom Walker and Chris Gordon, would have got a buzz out of the weekend. Guys, thanks for coming in. Thank you. No worries. Now, Gordo, how did you feel seeing your former teammate on the main stage? Yeah, I was happy and wrapped for him um, to get a, um, a game. Although Phil was pretty good, pretty special for him. And now you won two premierships with Matt and the Kennedys. Um, was he the most influential player in that first half of uh, last year's grand final? Yeah, by far. He was, he was unreal. Um, you know, he probably won us the game, uh, to be honest. Uh, he was really good. And then, Tom, a great finish to the weekend with the Giants' Neeful side at Robbo. Yeah, for sure. We were lucky enough to have a Neeful clash between Canberra Demons and GWS Giants at Robinson Oval. Uh, we tied it in with a junior uh, representing program between Walker District Juniors and South West Juniors. So for the best kids around here to watch that AFL talent uh, right in front of their own eyes was a fantastic, fantastic opportunity. It was a really great game, uh, good crowd. Uh, so the day was a really great success. And now, Gordo, you've been in the area for a while now um, in coaching roles in both of our leagues, and you've kind of seen both the good and bad sides of having the Giants um, in our area. The bad, obviously, being some clubs lose great players um, for, you know, weeks at a time, like Perryman at Gully. Um, and then the good stuff, like what we saw on the weekend, Kennedy coming through the academy and obviously making it to AFL footy. Do you think it's great to have the Giants involved in our area? Yeah, um, definitely. Um I think having them down here, it's a pathway for the young blokes to, to make the AFL. And um, as, a, as a junior, on, um, that's what you want to be doing, playing AFL footy. So with them being down here, I think it's uh, awesome for them. Now turning our attention to the RFL this week, Coolerman will be desperate for four points against Narendra to stay in touch with the five. Gan Main, who were in fifth and four points ahead of the Hoppers in Collin Gully, head to Ma Oval to take on Turvey. Last year's grand finalists meet at Mangapla, but the match of the round is at Robertson Oval, where the unbeaten Tigers host Leeton Witten. Tom, Tigers were due to face their toughest challenge last week, Griffith at Griffith. Uh, they kicked five goals in the first quarter, six goals in the last. Are they unstoppable, or do you think Leeton will answer that for us on the weekend? Uh, you'd have to say they're unstoppable at this stage. Um, they've been playing extremely good football, undefeated. Um, at home at Robinson Oval, they'll be very, very hard to beat. Um, it's hard to see Leeton getting over the top. Um, Tigers are just going too strong at the moment. And Gordo, I know you haven't seen too much RFL this year, um, but Tigers this year are kind of doing a bit of what Gully have done the last couple, having experienced guys in some key positions and then topping it up with lots of young blokes who can run all day. Is that uh, maybe a key to premierships? Yeah, definitely. Having a good mix um, in your side uh, definitely, definitely helps um, you win games and especially grand finals. And now Gully are back up against Mango this weekend. Tom, do you think the Goannas have their measure this year? Uh, yeah, you'd have to say so. Um, Gully are struggling a little bit. They've had a bit of an inconsistent year in terms of injury and getting players on the park. Um, it's a must win for Gully, but at the moment you'd have to go to Mango Park. And now, Gordo, you, Brad Aiken, Matt Kennedy and Chris Jackson, Jackson sorry, were among the departures after last year. Can they still match it this year, do you reckon? Um, I think they can. Um, if they make the finals, um, every side know that they're going to be really hard to beat, if, but that's if they make the finals. Um, yeah, they're, just, they're a side that just keeps going and going and battling away week in, week out, but their injuries are, are the main problem they've got out there at the moment. So if they get their injuries right, they'll be, they'll be good to go, I think. And now, Tom, are you tipping Coolman and Gain-Main to bounce back with a win this week? Yeah, I think I will be. Um, I think Gare Main, they should win uh, and should, should win well. Um, call them at home. I think that's probably the biggest difference against Narendra. Thanks for coming in, guys, and all the best for a big weekend of footy.